Muy buenos días, amigos. Buenos días, mis queridos latinos. Un placer y una alegría estar nuevamente con ustedes otro día más. Y hoy estamos de lujo. En nuestra casita se encuentra un distinguido caballero que día a día se está fajando en el Congreso por nosotros los hispanos. Welcome home, Congressman, el congresista Alan Grayson. Thank you. Bienvenido. Yes, thank you. I feel I feel warm a warm welcome. Thank you. You do? Yes. I'm glad to hear that. Amigos, este pasado 19 de abril se cumplieron 16 años de una tragedia que vivió el pueblo de Puerto Rico. Un avión disparó un misil, una bomba perdida, la cual no logró su objetivo en la isla municipio de Vieques y mató al civil viequense David Sánez Rodríguez. Una tragedia que los puertorriqueños jamás olvidaremos. Y fue uno de esos momentos en la historia de Puerto Rico cuando los tres partidos políticos se unieron y el pueblo entero, todos para conseguir una misma meta, sacar la marina de Vieques. Mr. Grayson, that April 19 of 1999, a, ter ter a terrible day in our history. Uh, we will never forget. Uh, you know about the tragic death of David Sanse Rodriguez. Yes, let me tell you about it. It was 16 years ago. He was a civilian employee of the Navy at the Navy bombing range at Vieques. And he was in a clearly marked observation deck that was never supposed to be bombed. And they bombed it not with one bomb, but with two bombs. Two bombs came down from the sky, from a plane, blew him to pieces. He was destroyed. And people loved him. Everybody on the island knew him. It's a small island. There's less than 10,000 people on the island. Everybody knew him. They loved his love of life. And then suddenly he was dead. He was gone. And they buried him. And it's just the way you say it was 16 years ago. But that was the beginning of a struggle. And the struggle ended in victory. After he died, People said they don't want those bombs there anymore. They don't want the Navy there anymore. They don't want Puerto Rico to be target practice for the U.S. Navy. Mm -hmm. So people struggled. Many people went to the island. Many people were arrested in protests at the island of Vieques. And then four years later, in 2003, the Navy left and the facility was closed. So mm -hmm. his death meant something. Something good came from something bad. Right. And that's... Uh, was one of the few moments in the history of Puerto Rico that the all three party, political parties, have joined together for a common goal to take out the Navy out of Vieques. Yes, and, and they won, and the Navy left, but they left behind a terrible legacy. Right. We understand that you have acted in Congress to ensure that the fatal death of Sanis Rodriguez will not be forgotten, will never yes. be forgotten. Yes. What we, have you done for it? We put it, I made a speech, and we put the speech in the congressional record. The congressional record goes all the way back to the beginning of the United States, back to the 1700s. And can, sorry, <laughs> back, back to when Congress was first formed, back to the first formation of the Congress, and continues all the way until today. Every single word that's spoken in the House of Representatives, in the U.S. Senate, Every single word that is spoken is recorded for all time. So I gave a memorial in, in the way that I just did to explain the circumstances and the death, the sadness, but the good that came from the death. I gave a memorial on the, in the congressional record, and there's a copy of that speech in every city in the United States. There is an official library in every major city in the United States, and his words and his, his legacy will be there for all time. Wow, and that's the first thing that happened in history in regards to a, a Puerto Rican. Yes, and, and his sacrifice, the, his sacrifice of his life, uh, people need to understand that it was not in vain and that something very important and very good happened from that because it drew together the whole island and everybody on the mainland with a conscience. And all of those people worked together to close the military base, to stop the bombing, to stop the destruction and to make his life and his death meaningful. True. Amigos, la Marina de los Estados Unidos ocupó Vieques por más de 60 años. A raíz de eso, los daños al ambiente y a la salud de los residentes 
todavía existen. We understand that you recognize the damage done to the environment and the health hazard and that you have been trying to help. We want to try to get health aid for the island. The federal government operates an enormous health facility around the entire country for the benefit of veterans. Well, if they do it for veterans, why not do it for the health victims on Vieques who suffer as much as or sometimes more than many veterans do? Wow. They are, in effect, involuntary veterans. Mm -hmm. And third, we want to make sure that the base is put to good use. The Navy occupied almost half of the entire island, and now that land has fallen into disuse. So we want to make sure that the land is used for the benefit of the people of Vieques to try to make up for their suffering. Right, right. So you have been a really proactive congressman dealing and trying to solve Hispanic issues. And we will talk about in a little bit, let's go back to Tampa, we will be back. Volveremos en unos momentos, amigos. Vamos a Tampa, unos segunditos.